Almost 40 years have passed since the start of what Israelis deem Operation Peace for the Galilee, or the first Lebanon war, but the memories still linger. When Israelis invaded Lebanon on June 6, 1982, the country was reeling from a vicious civil war, with Shiite, Palestinian, Christian and other militias constantly battling one another. Israel threw its support behind a predominantly Christian militia known as the South Lebanon Army. They were fighting a common enemy, the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Many of its veterans now live in Israel. Our memories were bomb shelters and how to run away from school and get to bomb shelters. There were always wars, bad memories, but that was our childhood. We grew up in Israel's hands. They gave us food and financial support for schools and fuel and everything you want. They say, how could you love Israel? We didn't know any other government. And they fought as brothers in arms alongside Israeli soldiers. I was a truck driver and I went to our base when an RPG was fired at me. There were two soldiers with me, they were killed, and I survived alone. I fought for half an hour before they came for me. The Israeli army and the South Lebanon army came and rescued me. I was severely injured and I now have problems with my leg and eye. In Arabic you say, the enemy of the enemy is my friend. The Lebanese were not our enemies, the Palestinians were our enemy and their enemy. So the Lebanese people entwined their fate with ours. We entered in order to help ourselves, first of all, but also to help the local civilians. With Israel's withdrawal of troops in 2000, veterans of the South Lebanon army fled across the border in chaos and disarray. I didn't know I didn't have time to hear about it, and I didn't know anything. I was sleeping and my officer in Kiryat Shmona told me to come to Israel with my wife. Withdrawing was necessary, but not in that way. It was a disappointing way, and it didn't have to be that way. That day was total chaos. SLA posts started to disintegrate, and they didn't prepare us for that. And Hezbollah understood that. It started to go south. SLA backed down, and they all tried to enter Israel. But now they feel neglected by the Israeli government. The Israeli people accepted us with love and support. Our kids grew up here in an Israeli school system, and our kids have all the rights of other children. The nation welcomed us with open arms, but in government, we don't know how. They divided us into groups, and each group gets different treatment. So some receive support, and some are neglected, and we are now fighting for those who didn't receive support. The average age for those veterans is 55, and they are living on minimum wage. They work, and if they can't, they live on welfare. They should have been treated like Israeli veterans, and the treatment towards them was a failure and hurtful. I-24 News reached out to the relevant Israeli authorities about these claims, and they declined to comment. With their fate now intertwined with the state of Israel, these veterans have made a new home as their past lies beyond borders.